Welcome to my nature diaries. Our fall weather has come in beautifully and I've been collecting leaves as you can see for quite a while and have pressed them and I'm going to add them to my nature journal. Now I'm using my vintage flower press but of course you could use books or magazines to dry your flowers and preserve them and make it perfect to add to your nature diary or any kind of journal that you might have. This press really helps to make them very thin and perfect to add to any kind of multimedia art project that you might want to do. So simple and easy as well. I wanted to add these to my journal but I wanted to do something different for the background and so before I go ahead and do that I'm going to use some of this washi tape to tape off a border. Adding a border is optional, but I like how it's going to set off my fall leaves. For this entry, I'm going to be using my Derwent Inktense paint set because it's much more um, permanent on the paper, so it won't lift with the Mod Podge. I'm using this burnt yellow ochre, mango orange, and a natural brown. I'm going to mix them together to create my own kind of background color. I'll be using the whitest brush that I have to just go ahead and using this clean water, I'm just going to add a wash before I add the actual color to the background. Before I decided on this color, I did go ahead and make some sample patches and that's how I decided on using this particular color to really set the leaves off and I'm also making a gradient and adding some more color I actually went in with some straight mango in the corners so my background color is all done and I'm going to take off the washi tape to reveal this white crisp clean border that I really do enjoy adding to my nature diary. Now I decided to add a decorative border and I'm using this Uniball Signal Copper Pen and a straight edge ruler just to mark off the border so it just makes it a little bit easier when I go to actually apply it. I'm just going to arrange the leaves how I would like to see them glued down into my diary. And I'm using a craft glue, and you can use any kind of student glue. It works just fine to put on the back of these leaves. We're just going to go ahead and take a craft brush, and I just diluted a little bit of water with the glue. Again, you can use like an Elmer's glue for this. And just apply it and make sure to cover all the back surface of the leaf. And then that way it'll go down really well and keep those edges from lifting up. I made sure to pick as many different looking leaves as I could find, different shapes and different colors and sizes, just to kind of give me a little taste of the fall leaves that I experienced. And of course, you could add any style of leaf or kind for any season into your nature diary because you're trying to really not only learn maybe the variety of trees or plants, but you're also adding this multimedia element to your nature journal. I'd really love to know if you've ever added dried leaves to any of your journals, whether they be a nature journal, art journal, or bullet journal, whatever kind that you might have, even a sketchbook. I just feel like it's such a great way to preserve all these dried leaves that I seem to collect and now I feel like I found a little home for them, at least a few, in my nature diary. Now 
now that we've done adding those, before I apply Mod Podge, I'm using my Trees of Ohio field guide to just make sure I identify them. And I'm also using this Micron 0.1. You can use any size, but if you want something that's bulletproof for uh, when you're applying another medium like Mod Podge, I feel like these Micron pens are just perfect for that. So I'm not using my dip pen, but I'll be using these Microns today. I decided to title this Flowers of Fall because I do feel like that's what they are because everything else is pretty much past here as far as flowers and to have these leaves in their gorgeous colors and hues, they just remind me of that. And I'm just going ahead and adding information about what the leaves are, what I think, and any other thoughts. I don't have a whole lot of space here, but that's what I usually do add to my nature diary. If you've been following along and haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you follow me as I fill out this nature journal one entry at a time. And I do hope that you will like and comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts about nature journaling. To protect these leaves, I'll be using matte Mod Podge, or you could use an Elmer's glue if you don't have that, and a wide brush, craft brush with a soft bristle. And I'm just going to take a watery um, blend of it. I'm just adding some water to my brush really, and then just thinning out the Mod Podge a little bit just so it glides on more smoothly over the leaves. I'm adding a total of three coats to this. It just seems to work when I add that many. And when you add any kind of liquid to a dried leaf, it will buckle a little bit because it rehydrates just some. So you're going to want to just work on pressing down any parts of the leaf that are trying to lift again. So it takes a little bit of time, but the Mod Podge does dry pretty fast. The Mod Podge has dried and created these jewel-like tones on these leaves and I just feel like you could do so many things with dried leaves and you could add them to cardstock or cards and do the same kind of art with them. But it's so simple and beginner friendly and you don't have to always be an artist when you're making a nature diary. I feel like it's so wonderful to be able to take something that's discarded and leaf litter basically and it turns into something absolutely gorgeous because there's so much inspiration in the world around us and in nature and I loved how these look in my nature diary. I'm so excited to have added them and included them this year. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you join me next time and remember you are amazing and creative. See you next time. Bye.